Okay, so last time we made a video, we ranked all of the base, or er, the mainline Mario Kart games. So from Super Mario Kart on the SNES to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to try and do every other Mario Kart in the series. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit doesn't have any new items. Uh, Mario Kart Arcade has, of the three or four of them, have lots of new items. Except for VR, that one doesn't have any. That were from previous games. And Mario Kart Tour has a good feel. So, let's get started with the double bottle. Oh, you're playing Mario Kart 7? I'm playing Mario Kart DS, and I just got oh. sniped. Oh. By what? Oh, uh, I got sniped by a bomb. Hmm. Okay, so... Right now, we're gonna look at the double bottoms, which are two bombs that will revolve around the cart. Tap the screen to throw them both at once. Two is better than one, right? So basically, you get two bottoms. So you basically just get two terrorist attack bombs? Yeah, they just spin around your cart. Oh. Um. So basically, in a way, it's kind of like, you know, um, Peach and Daisy's uh, special from uh, Double Dash, except with the bombs. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about that, because if you get hit by an item... <laughs> you're screwed, because they both wild, blow up on you. They're just screwed. Yeah, you, you both items would blow up, I think. So, this definitely... I, I think I would put this... Below the bottoms, the standard bottom item in C tier. <laughs> yeah. Above the mega mushroom. Um. No, I, I, the the mega mushroom has its um benefits. As a matter of fact, I think it has way more pros than you know the double bottoms. I think below it. Okay. Yeah. Worse than C tier. <laughs> this is such a dumb item. All right, and now we have the ice flower, which also on on the screen on the video you're gonna look at me research all of this uh, information. So, the ice flower, three balls of ice will revolve around your cart. Tap the screen to throw them all at once, and they'll freeze any cart they hit, causing them to slide. I have uh, Ice Mario that has that um, power um, in Torch. And I'm gonna be real with you, I never hit anybody with that item before. It doesn't look funky. It doesn't sound- I thought it was gonna be like the fire flower, but you can just- it's ice flowers instead. Uh, you, there's basically like three, um... Yeah, there's three, three, like ice, balls. Yeah, three ice balls that spin around your cart. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, that, I originally thought it was just gonna be like the fire flower, but... You know, with ice balls instead of fire. So, where would we put this? Because it's... I, I would be honest, this goes in C tier. Because this sounds like a really hard item to hit. Yeah. But where in C tier? I wouldn't put it above the boomerang. Not the giant banana. I wouldn't put it above the fire flower. Maybe below... i put it above the f fireball. Mario and Luigi's fireball. Um, yeah, fair placement. Yeah. Because the fireball basically just shoots five fireballs in front of you. Or I'm just horribly wrong and somebody will correct me in the comments. And the ice flower will just shoot three around you. Which, granted, they'll freeze slide. Actually, you know what? What about under? Maybe under. <sighs> Maybe under. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it there for right now. Alright, now we have Birdo's Egg. Home, it, home in on the cart in front of you and crashes once it hits. Three more items will fly out when it breaks. It's the item that keeps on giving. So it's basically Yoshi Egg. It's a red shell that summons three more items. No, oh, um... And the Yoshi's Egg in the same game does the same thing, but this is considered a different item, therefore it counts as a different item. I think just place it next to the Yoshi egg. But above it or below it? I don't um, really think it matters because they're both essentially the same thing. Yeah, so just kind of like... Can, we'll, we'll just say it doesn't matter if it's below or above because... Yeah. Can I, 
was... Yoshi's egg goes above because it's Yoshi. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we have the bubble. Briefly an envelope... Your, oh fuck, I can't speak. Briefly envelopes your cart and protects you from damage for a set time. While in the bubble, you will get a speed boost and float in the air. Watch out, because it will vanish upon taking damage. In battles, it can float you over walls. Where did you put uh, the bubble? That sounds like a pretty good item. It must be a bad item, then. If it sounds good, it's bad. If it sounds bad, it's probably good. But from... Wait, we're gonna have to judge it based off of what we're reading. So, the bubble... Eh... It gives you a speed boost and lets you float in the air. But it will vanish how do you, upon taking damage. How do, you, how do you hit people, then? Maybe, like, throwing a banana up to it, or, like, a red shell. Oh. This doesn't sound the best, but not the worst. I would put this in B tier. B for bubble. Yeah, alright. But we put it above the POW block? I don't think you put it above the heart. Um. What were the options again? Would we put it above the POW block? And below the heart? Because I think that would be a solid placing for it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna need to stretch because we're gonna be here for a while. We still got Mario Kart Tour items. Uh, we got the banana barrels. Arm your cart with two fully loaded barrels of bananas. Continuously shoot out bananas in front of your cart for a set time. Wait, it shoots out bananas in front of your cart? Um, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. I just realized there's so many different variations of uh, the banana just in base Mario Kart. We got banana, treble banana, banana bunch, and giant banana. We got the banana barrel in this game. Where would we put it? Shoots bananas continuously for a set amount of time in front of the cart. Like, um, how far... Do you know how far they're talking? Because, like, if it's super close, though, this sounds like a terrible item. Huh? Uh, we'll just um we'll just say that it, it um shoots far like as far as you're able to like you know shoot a banana. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So then I'd put it just above banana. Well, no, I put it below banana actually, because if you think about it, who's tripping on a banana? As um, not a lot of people. It, again, it is Mario Kart Tour though, so. And since you are kind of like just, since you also kind of are like driving while it kind of like automatically just like shoots in front of you, most of the time it's probably not even going to be on track. Yeah. So kind of like, the idea sounds cool, but it's just kind of a bit useless. Yeah, um, I'd put it below the banana maybe cause, because you can use the banana as a defensive tool. You can put it behind you. Or you could just have it behind your cart and defend yourself from things like shells. You can't really do that with the barrels, I don't think. Uh, I don't think so, you can. So, I would put it below banana. Just below banana. Yeah, fair punishment. Yeah. Okay, now we have the mushroom cannon. A cannon designed to resemble a mushroom continuously shoots out mushrooms in front of your cart for a set amount of time. No. Um, the, the idea sounds cool, but again, you're just kind of, kind of like the problem with the Yoshi and Birdo egg. You're just basically giving like everybody else a free boost if you miss it. Yeah. It doesn't really sound all that good. Also, there's a gold PD Piranha. That's a character? Gold. You know, we got gold Mario, gold PD Piranha, gold Dry Bones, uh, gold... I think it's just a yellow hat Koopa Troopa. But anyways, oh, wait, Meowser is a character? Who? Meowser. 
from uh, Super Mario 3D World. Wait, Poochie's a character? What? Poochie from Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World? What? <laughs> a playable character? Yeah. Okay. And you, you, you know what? His, you know his special item? The Lucky Seven. Of course. I thought it would be like, I don't know. I thought it would be kind of like, like, I don't know, maybe like Yoshi related. Oh, wait, hang on. The Lucky Seven has a different set of items in uh, Mario Kart Tour. It's got Red Shell, Banana, Green Shell, Bobom, Super Horn, Mushroom, and Blooper. So it lost the star. Oh, well, that just makes it even worse. <laughs> I'm gonna go have Crazy Eight. At that point. Uh, anyways, Mushroom Cannon shoots out mushrooms in front of your cart. Doesn't sound all that good. See, but what, we're, what it says, it sounds like you're shooting mushrooms in front of you, around the distance of a banana. If that's what we're assuming with the banana barrels, then that's what we're assuming with the mushrooms. The mushroom, the mushroom cannon thing, I have, um, I have a character that's able to do that for... You're basically shooting mushrooms ahead of you. Well, uh, there would be no reason to shoot it behind you. Yeah. Uh, if you get the Mushroom uh, Cannon Plus, uh, it shoots mushrooms in three directions. Why? That's just... <laughs> I think it works! Because at least with like, the Mushroom Cannon, you can use... everybody free items! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Imagine the Thundercloud Plus. You get hit light by lightning twice. <laughs> that sounds like so dumb. Imagine that's actually the thing. Um, anyways, this video is 11 minutes already? Jesus Christ. You're not even done with Tor. Okay, um, oh. let's try and get through this quickly. Where would we place the mushroom cannon? Um, the mushroom cannon, although it, it, it sounds cool... I think execution might have been a, a, a tad bit bad. I put it so, at the best in D tier because the normal one you can definitely use that. Definitely much better than the yeah. super leaf. Yeah. So definitely top of D tier. All right, now we got the yeah. coin box. A box with a golden sheen generates a large amount of coins in front of your cart for a set amount of time. D tier. What? D tier. <laughs> where, where do we put it? <laughs> in D tier. Dead last. <laughs> dead dead last. No, not, not below the thundercloud. Dead last. No, no. At least with, no. At least with the thundercloud, you have some kind of perk. And <laughs> what do you do with the, the coin box? You, you just get rich? <laughs> what? I don't know the max coin count in Mario Kart Tour. If it's... I, I think it... Uh, there, I don't think so, if, I, if I'm not wrong. There is no coin count. You just kind of, like, you know, get coins, to able to buy characters and cards. Other than that, like, it's really easy to get coins. Can you get a speed so, boost by coins in Mario Kart Tour? Um, I'm not sure. Because if not, so. this is the literal I worst really item. I don't see a difference. Huh? I, I don't think I... I don't see a difference. So, so for now... <laughs> dead last. Okay, with that reason, I would put it above the thundercloud. <laughs> I think above the thundercloud is the best option because with thundercloud it hurts you. The coin box is useless, yes, but it 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 doesn't hurt you. So. Yeah, I, I would put it above, just one tier above the Thundercloud, below the blooper. That's how useless it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we have the dash ring. Tosses out three rings in front of you along the track. Pass through them for a speed boost. In battles, you can cause your opponents to crash by ramming into them while boosted. Sounds cool. So, wait. Does that stay for every player the whole game? Or, like, do you go through it once and it disappears? Because if it goes... 
Because if it disappears, then it's definitely like an A tier or S tier item. But if it stays, then it's a B tier. Because yes, you get boosted, but you can boost the players behind you as well. I think it's kind of like, um... Oh. I think it's just like... What's the name of the item again? Oh, uh, Dash Ring. Dash Ring? Yeah. Um, let me just look it up real quick. Okay. Is that Witch Peach? No, it's Witch Rosalina. <laughs> it's Penguin Toad! There's Mies in Mario Kart Tour? That's cool. I'm not sure about uh, Dash Ring. Uh, if it doesn't disappear, B tier. If it disappears, A tier or even S tier. So, what do we want to go with? Because we can either go with the mindset that it does disappear or it doesn't. Because we have no idea what we're doing. Um, well, we'll just say it it, it does. Yeah. So if it does. Good. It's going to be a good item, because it gives you three free boosts. Oh, wait, no. It places three rings in a consecutive order, so it just pretty much gives you one boost that has the effect of three. Okay. So, with that in mind, I would put this below Chain Chomp. Yeah, fair, um, fair price, man. Yeah. Okay, now we have... The bob -omb Cannon. A dangerous cannon fueled by red-hot coals. Continuously shoot at- or con yeah, continually shoots out bob -omb's in front of your cart for a set amount of time. That sounds horrible. What is the item again? The bob -omb Cannon. It shoots bob -omb's in front of your cart for a set amount of time. I don't think so you get, uh, hit if, um, if you do, you know, collide to it. I think it's only, like, other players. Oh. Well, in that case, then... Eh. Bottoms are pretty easy to dodge, though, in complete fairness. I would put this above the banana barrel. I think that's a fair placing for it. Above banana barrel, right? Yeah. Also, I want to keep in mind, the best uh, Mario Kart Tour item we've said is the ring. The, the dash ring. Which I think is pretty funny. Oh, oops, wrong one. Okay, now... Uh, we got the hammer item. Throws multiple hammers in an arc aimed... Wait, in an arc aimed area at carts in front of yours. So... It just throws hammers. I don't know how much. I'm going to assume three hammers in front of the player. Hmm. So, like, do you have to, like, aim it towards them, or does it kind of, like, auto-lock to it? Uh, I don't know if it auto-locks. I think you just have to aim for it. Which, if that's the case, then that sounds horrible. Because if you shoot it, it could probably hit you as well. Because if you're shooting it in an arced form, it could probably keep carting, and then the hammer, if it's slow enough, can just, bam, hit you right in the head. If that's the mindset, this is a terrible light. But if that's not the mindset, then I don't know where to put it. It's called a uh, hammer? Yeah. This is an item that I know comes from the arcade games, if I remember correctly. Um, well, we'll just kind of, like, leave it. Leave it where? Um, just kind of 
kind of like we'll, uh, leave it with like the other images. We'll leave it unranked. I would want it ranked though, because this is every Mario Kart item ranked, and there's also items that we have no idea what they do. So we're probably gonna have to guess. We'll uh, just make like a, a tier that just says we don't know what to rank these, and there we rank them by not knowing how to rank them. But simple solution. I think we could probably rank this low because it doesn't sound. We'd probably rank it around the boomerang flower though, because at least with the boomerang flower, it does go long distance and you can use it three times. The hammer, you have three uses, yes, but it's just an arced form and probably doesn't sound that good. Yeah, so like, maybe like around D to C? Yeah, I'd put it at the top of D tier, or below C, or the worst in C tier. Uh, since it probably sounds garbage as hell, we'll just put it up to top D tier. Yeah. So, you know what, I'm gonna put it below the Mushroom Cannon, because with the Mushroom Cannon, that could be more useful. Yeah. Alright, and now we have the Giga Baba. This gig this giga sized bomb can only be thrown forward. After being thrown, it will explode after hitting a cart or bouncing three times. It has a larger blast radius than a standard bomb. In battles, it explodes after bouncing twice. Okay, so after three bounces, which if they're fast, if they're fast enough, you could probably get caught in the blast radius. But if the blast radius is big enough, it could counter, like, uh, smaller track sizes. So, like, there's rings of Sat the Saturn rings on uh, Rainbow Road and Mario Kart 7, for example. That track would probably, like, have a massive blast radius and block most of the track with one gigabobble. So, with that mindset in mind, I would put it a tier or one spot below the Bowser shell. I think that's a pretty fun part. All right. Uh, so I'm seeing a video about the uh, Giga Bob Bomb. Um, uh huh. It, it looks, it looks fine. So uh, let me explain about how this Giga Bob Bomb works. Oh, yeah, that I works how how it quickly like... does it blow up? Because if it does it blow up quickly, and uh. Well, it's very situational. I would definitely... The moment, oh, yeah? the moment where, like, um, you know, where you contact with the bomb and immediately explodes, that's basically how the Giga Bomb works as well. Kind of explodes when, like, you're in contact with it, or, like, near it. Mm. And also, uh, it, um, when it hops, it hops, like, fairly far away. Oh. Well, then that could probably fall off the map, right? Um... Let me, let me look at the video again. It can fall off the track pretty easily, right? Oh, wait, no, there's uh, walls on the tracks, right? Or is that only for the players? It kind of looks like it just ping-pongs, like, throughout the track. Okay. With that in mind, I'm fine with putting this behind Bowser Shell. Oh, never mind. Uh, no, actually, I uh, um, I didn't see well. It can fall off the track, but most of the time it should probably just like kind of like, you know, ping pong like throughout the track. Okay. The radius is just, like, like mediocre. Okay, so with that in mind, then I'm fine with putting this behind Bowser Shell because Bowser Shell I think can do the same thing. Yeah, fair, fair placement. Yeah. Okay. So now we have the Super Bell. A bell rings above the driver, knocking away nearby carts and items. The bell rings three consecutive times. If it's really fast, then it's probably going to get off one hit, which might not be um, good. That just kind of sounds like a super horn, Pretty except much. you're able to it's... use it three times. Yeah, it's... You're forced to use it three times once you hit it once, though. So there is that issue. A bell rings above the driver, knocking away nearby carts and items. This video is 24 minutes long. Damn. 
Look at all these items. Okay. Me, uh... Well, you can't see, but uh, on the video, I'm gonna. I just showed off <laughs> how many items we have left. This is gonna be a long video. We might have to split it into more parts. <laughs> well, the Super Bell. Where do we put this? Could we? It's super hard to use once. The Super Bell twice or three times. So will we put it? Above super um super hard? Will we put it below? Um I would say it's fairly situational. Like you're around like a bunch of people. You can probably use it so you're able to kind of like, you know, get those people like away from you or like, you know, make sure that they like won't reach you. So yeah. like have fair distance with that. Yeah. Well like you're far ahead and like what like one retro's like coming towards you and then you kind of just like use it to like, you know, to make sure you don't get hit, you basically kind of like wasted it. So it's like, I think it's like a situational item. Oh yeah, no, it does get away items, and uh, the super horn doesn't get rid of uh, carts, right? Super horn does get rid of um, carts. Okay, so since this one does it three times, I think that it's just like the super horn. Super horn is very situational, so I would put the super bell above. The super horn. I would just slam my uh, knee into the uh, desk. I think it's fair placing, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we have one more item. The capsule. Three colorful uh, capsules surround your cart. They'll bounce at opponents when thrown. So pretty much, I think this like means similar to like Dr. Mario's fire or pill throw in Smash. That bit in Mario Kart. What was it called again? The capsule? Yeah. And also, this is our last Mario Kart tour item. That is wonderful. <laughs> Video is 27 minutes long. <laughs> In comparison, we did so many more items last time. We're doing, I think, double or even triple that amount last time. Because I think there's 172 items in Mario Kart. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, the capsule, yeah, you were right. It's basically Dr. Mario pills that kind of bounced around the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't This is basically a little bouncy. So, what, below Fire Flower? Yeah, it's, you know, again, it kind of just reminds me of, like, you know, the Fire Flowers, if not just, like, a, a green shell, it's, just, like, what, maybe, like, a bit worse, mm -hmm. and then just, like, bouncy. Yeah. And it's not even a, yep. like a shell, it's just a pill. I'm going to pause the video for just a second. Okay, so, we're back. We're going to start with the basin item. What is this? What? It's a tub. Tubs, also known as bases, are items that appear in Mario Kart Arcade GP. The item is based on the common jab. Okay, we don't really care about what it's based on. When used, they lock onto an opponent and whack them on the head. Although the tub is a basic item, it flattens the opponent like a thwomp. Stopping the targeted player and allowing others to pass by. Wow. That sounds good. That's a better red shell. I would put that above red shell. That sounds like a much better red shell. That's amazing. Holy shit. That sounds really good. Alright, Death. Wait, do you want to put it above Red Shell? Uh, I guess so. What is it again? A, a, a tub? Yeah, or also known as basins. What, like a bathtub? No, it's like um. Oh, well, actually, it might be a bath. It, that might be what it's based off of. No, it's uh, based off of um. A uh, common Japanese slapstick gag of ba uh, basins falling on people's heads. That's what it's based off of. So it's just like... Oh, okay. 
Because if, if I was assuming like an actual bathtub, I, I cannot believe that we're ranking a, a bathtub better than a red show, but <laughs> thankfully that's not what we are ranking. We're actually ranking something else. <laughs> we're ranking a Japanese uh, gimmick, a uh, cartoon gimmick. Okay, so that's the tub. That sounds pretty good. We already ranked the boo, so next we have the needle bomb. A needle bomb is an offensive item. The needle bomb is not a bomb, but a red fish resembling the porcupine with additional spines in its body. When fired, it travels to its opponents when it is homed correctly. What does that mean? When it homes oh, like a green shell? It latches onto the opponent and pops two of their opponent's tires on the right side of the cart. The once the tires are popped, the opponent loses both control and speed. And obviously the tires eventually come back. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Huh? <laughs> it pops your tires. That sounds horrible. Imagine drifting with this. So where do we put this? Um... I guess like around A to S. So uh, I would put it above the spiny shell. Cause this, cause this is a like, this sounds really good. I thought the basin was gonna be the best item, so uh, and the tub was gonna be the best item. Nope. <laughs> Got the needle bomb. Uh, how about above spiny? I think that's fun, right? Um. Does it like only target like one person or like multiple? One. One? Yeah. Mm. Or we could put it above the tub. I think above the tub. Okay, yeah. That makes a bit more sense then. Okay, so next we have the square tire. What is this item? The square tires are an item appearing in Mario Kart or KGP. As the name implies, it makes an opponent's tires square, making the wheels harder to control. And a similar effect as the boo. After about 20 seconds, the tires will go back to normal. What, what does the boo do in this game? I don't know. Okay, so it just makes uh, the wheels harder to control. That sounds pretty solid. I would put this just below the pal block. And no, so, oh, above the power block. So, so basically, yeah. all, all the, the square tires does is make it harder to control. Pretty much. That's what I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, it sounds like, you know, good, but... but keep in mind, kind of hang on. Keep in mind, though, you do... When you play Mario Kart Arcade, you're playing with a steering wheel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think above the PAL block is fine. Yeah. Tires. All, right, All right, so next we have the big and small tire. The big and small tire is an offensive item in Mario Kart Arcade GP. When shot while the aiming is correct, it travels to opponents and hits them, thus briefly slowing them down for a moment. After they hit, opponents experience their tires shrinking and growing continuously, which makes them lose control and speed. After a while, the item effect goes away. Okay, so I'm fine with putting this above the green shell. Just above the green shell. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think that's a pretty solid placing for it. Yeah. All right, and now we have the time bomb. Time bomb. Am I hearing that right? A time bomb? Yep. The time bomb is a lock-on item. Upon hitting a racer... I'm sorry. Upon hitting a racer, the time bomb hovers above them and initiates a countdown starting 15 seconds. The racer with a time bomb may pass it to another racer by bumping into them. When the countdown reaches zero, the time bomb explodes on the racer it is currently hovering above. 
So basically, this is a combination of the Thundercrop from MK Wee. And it's a combination of the Red Shell. It's a combination of the Red Shell and the uh, Thundercloud. Uh, Basically, yeah, much. You, you, it's a lock on item. You throw it, and then there's a countdown for 15 seconds on that racer. They have to go hit somebody with it to transfer it, and then if they don't, they blow up if the ca timer ca reaches uh, zero. This actually sounds like a really good item. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'm fine with putting this... Actually, I want to put this above the, uh... The dash ring. Yeah, that sounds like a fair placement. Yeah. I think it's fine. Okay, now we have... Okay, we obviously know green shells. So now we're mo moving on to, uh, the tornado. Oh, the two... In Mario Kart Arcade GP, tornadoes are used as an offensive item. When used, it is fired in a straight line similar to the green shell and other straight shot items and stops when it touches a wall. Any carts caught in the path of the tornado are lifted off the ground for a second before falling, slowing them down temporarily. Okay, so the tornado is basically just a worse version of the green shell. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> So, I'm fine with putting this literally right below the green shell. Literally a worse version. You don't even, like, fully slow down. You don't fully stop. You just slow down a bit and then regain back speed. No, you're in the air for a second and then you fall down. So, wow. the green shell. <laughs> sounds like, yeah. a, sounds like yeah. a worse version of the green shell. So, I'm fine with putting it below the green shell. Because if the green shell is above the, a tornado, I think that's funny. That's a fair placement, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, we know the banana. So now we have attack. Attack? Attacks are a basic item found in Mario Kart or KGP. They are gold nails. If used, the player scatters the tacks behind their cart. If rivals run over them, the tacks can pop their tires, making it more difficult to control their cart. Do they not disappear? Um, for the sake of, you know, for making the game not too broken and not too unfair... It's Mario Kart Arcade GP. Have you heard some of these items? Some of these we'll items... The, the huh? Tax, uh, we'll say that the tax disappear. Okay, so after one hit, the tax disappear. Got it. So, in that mindset, I still think these are really good. Yeah. So, I want to put them... Actually, I think about putting them behind the dash ring. In front of triple bananas behind the dash ring, I think is a solid placement for them. Because with a banana, you're getting stunned. With tax... You're having your tires popped. So, I think that's a fair placing, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So, next we have Sticky Oil. Sticky Oil is an item found in Mario Kart Arcade GP. In the game, the player can toss the Sticky Oil backwards, and only backwards, to another player. If the player gets a successful hit, the hit player's traction, or traction will decrease significantly, even if the player throws the item without hitting the opponent. The Sticky Oil will stay in the spot it was thrown, serving as a stage hazard. Huh. So you can throw it backwards. That's it. Yeah. Which, I mean, fair enough. If you throw this in front of you, uh, it doesn't sound that fun. You know, like, how big is it? No, but it, all I know is that it stays there permanently until somebody hits it. Maybe like B to A. I 
I'd say high B tier. I say just behind the Chronicle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I can't believe I'm doing this, but the next item is the pie. Pie is an item used in the arcade game Mario Kart Arcade GP. In the game, the player can toss the pie backwards, and only backwards, to another player. If the player gets a successful hit, the hit player's screen is covered in pie cream. This item is functionally similar to the blooper item and used in most Mario Kart games. You know what? This item goes behind the blooper. <laughs> this sounds stupid. This, this is a stupid item. It's not even stupid, it's just downright awful people waste. Imagine, imagine there's 93 items you can get in your Mario Kart game, you get that? I guess give me the blooper then, I'd rather have that. Because I lose the blooper, I'm hitting all the players. At the pie, I'm always hitting the guy behind me. Maybe hitting the guy behind me. <laughs> you know what? I'm putting the coin box above the pie. That's how bad it is. <laughs> yes. That sounds miserable, the pie. Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> what? Just eat it at that point, don't waste food. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, next we got the Thunder Stick. He, upon using the Thunder Stick, the racer will begin to repeatedly swing it for approximately 5 seconds. If a rival gets too close to the attacking racer, the rival will get zapped, sp spun out, and be brought to a complete stop. Here's the thing, I'm gonna- I would say this goes above the Super Leaf, below the hammer. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so you know the Thundercloud, right? You know what game that comes from? Mario Kart Wii. No, it doesn't come from Mario Kart Wii. Its first game appearance was Mario Kart or KGP. Alongside other clouds. It's not the only cloud. Next we got the rain cloud. Oh my god. The rain cloud is an item that appears in Mario Kart Arcade GP and its sequels. When used, a cloud will appear above the opponent's head and make the cart harder to control. So basically just... Makes it harder to control. Yes, but for the opponent. I'm I, I'm putting this I would say that this is the second best in D tier. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Alright, so next we have the snow cloud. The snow cloud is an item that a peep oh sorry, well here, I can actually read it here. The snow cloud locks onto another racer and freezes their cart tires while snowing upon them. This makes the racer lose traction on the track and slows them down, making this item a slightly more severe version of the rain cloud. If it's slightly more severe, then I think we can put this... I'm just gonna say that this goes above double bobble. Alright. Yeah. Why, if you're having double bobble, why not make it triple bobble? That would be more useful. Don't tell me that's the next item. No, it's not. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, now we have the. Uh, I wish it was the next item because next we have the off-key speaker. The off-key speaker is the lock-on item. Upon hitting a racer, the off-key speaker will cause them to lose speed and then proceed to ha hover around the racer while blasting obnoxious music and producing colorful waves and music notes. While this does not cause any directly harmful attacks, it can obscure the screen and distract the racer from driving properly. So a better blooper. Put this above blooper. Alright, Yeah. 
All right, the image I got for this one was poor because I couldn't find anything for it. But next we got trash can. Uh, okay, here we are. Trash cans can be collected from item boxes in Mario Kart or KGP. Here, the item is inanimate and consists of three small red, green, and blue fruit cans strung together. They perform lock-on shots onto another racer and serve to slow down competition. I'm not dealing with this no more. But what is this stupid item? <laughs> the trash can can go to D tier because it's it's just that garbage. Uh, above pie, that's for certain. Eh, I I I would put it below uh, the hammer. I don't know. I don't know what the hell the item is. It's so brief. I don't know. Alright, next we got the laughter bag. The laughter bag is a lock-on item. Upon hitting a racer, the laughter bag will slow the racer down slightly and then proceed to hover over the racer's head for approximately 7 seconds. If the racer is passed or hit by an item during this time, the laughter bag will taunt the racer by laughing at them. No! This race, this item is terrible! This is the sec- I'm putting this above the thundercloud. <laughs> One tier above the Thunderclub. You know what? No, above the uh, the off key speaker. The goal for the goal for the item is to hit me, not to make me more pissed. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Having this item says yes, hit me. I want you to hit me. No, I don't. I don't want the stupid laughter bag. That's a terrible item. Dog dog shit. All right, now we have the mustache pen. <laughs> yes, you heard that correctly. The mustache pen. The magic paintbrush appears as an item in Mario Kart Arcade GP, though it is known as the mustache pen. It is a lock-on item, much like the tub. Upon being hit by the mustache pen, a racer will lose speed, and their portrait will be obscured by silly graffiti, such as a mustache or lips. Horrifying. I got lips. Uh, a variant of the mustache pen known as the trip. Oh, well, no. Okay, so we're going to worry about the mustache pen now. So, this sounds like a dumb item. I'm putting this up. How about above the, uh, the laughter bag? You know what? No, under the laughter bag. Yeah. Yeah, it's a terrible item. All right, and now we have the banana shot. The banana shot is a lock-on item in which it takes on the form of a metal bazooka loaded with a banana. When fired, the banana shot will launch its ammunition towards the racer it is locked onto, causing them to spin out upon a successful hit. If the banana shot is fired at a wall, the banana will drop to the ground and be left on the... That's actually not a bad item. It doesn't sound that bad, in all honesty. Where where would we put the banana shot? Um, maybe like maybe B to A. B to A. I I'd say high B. I say above Corona Plant. Fair enough. Okay. Next we have the Tox banana shot. I wonder what this one could be. The banana shot is a lock on item in which it takes the form of a metal bazooka with a special banana known as the poison banana. When fired, the tox banana shot will launch its ammunition towards the racer it is locked onto, causing it to spin out upon a successful hit. The racer that got hit will also be poisoned, causing the steering wheel to shake for a short period of time. And the poison banana will be dropped and be left on the track for racers to run over. So, where do we put this? Above the uh, the banana shot, right? I feel below the banana bench. Above the banana shot. So, very low A tier. 
Worse than nature. Alright, yeah. Okay. Now we have the dash bazooka. <laughs> the dash bazooka is a lock-on item in which it takes the form of a metal bazooka loaded with a mushroom. When fired, it will launch its ammunition towards the racer. It was fail! This is the terrible item! When fired, the dash bazooka will launch its ammunition towards the racer it is locked onto, causing him to receive a speed boost upon a successful hit. If the racer does not maintain control over their cart, the sudden speed boost may cause them to crash into a wall. So, that's a normal dash mushroom! So basically, when I have the dash bazooka, I'm just saying, Here, friend, you want a mushroom? <laughs> that's pretty much what the dash bazooka is. Where would you- <laughs> Huh? We're just basically helping them out. <laughs> exactly. It's terrible. At least with the pie, we're stunning them. And the thundercloud, well, hurts you. So I feel like in between the pie and the thundercloud. What do we just put a dead last D tier? <laughs> no, second to worst. Thundercloud exists. It hurts you. Because you're literally giving somebody else a speed boost. <laughs> okay, you know what? You've you won me over. Fair enough. The Thundercloud is actually better than an item. <laughs> you get him. You get the Thundercloud. Plus, there are some tricks where you're able to maintain all the... Uh, where you're able to, like, regain all your speed. Also, by the way, we're not done with Mario Kart or KTP. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, the video is 50 minutes long. Already. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, next we have the jump seal. What is the jump seal? The jump seal is a lock-on item. Upon hitting a racer, the jump seal will latch onto their cart, weighing them down and will prevent jumping for a short period of time. As jumping is required to start a drift, the jump seal prevents racers from drifting, and by extension, producing a shield. Therefore, a racer affected by the jump seal is very vulnerable to item attacks. That really? sounds like a yeah. really bad item to get hit with. Yeah, actually, it does sound like a miserable item to get hit with. Where would we, where would we put this? I say it's a Pretty solid item. I would definitely put this at least top B tier. Maximum? Yeah, yeah maximum ah, S tier. Low? Uh, eh, mid B tier. So we definitely know it can not be S tier. Certainly not. Uh, a tier? A tier? Um, I'm not sure about A tier. I think putting it under the banana shot is fine. Or no, above, yeah. no, no, above the banana shots, in general. Above it? Above the banana shots, so low A tier. Oh, then yeah, that, that, that sounds fair. Yeah, okay. I think we're gonna do one more item and then this video is gonna end. We're gonna try and finish off the seals, cause... Like, this is... Seal. Uh, the last item we were talking about is a seal. The item seal is a lock-on item. Upon being hit by the item seal, a racer will be unable to use items for a short period of time, though it is still possible to pick up items from an item box. While affected by the item seal, the racer will be surrounded by red rings of energy. So, this doesn't sound like all that good of an item. No, no, it really doesn't. I say like maybe below the rain cloud, right? uh, above the hammer, below the rain cloud. Um, yeah, fair point. Okay, yeah, I think part two is gonna end here. So, yeah.